Hello guys, you're all warmly welcome to my channel once again. Still on probability, we have a question here that says that two hunters P and Q aim at a target at the same time. The probability that P hits it is 2 over 9, while the probability that Q misses the target is 6 over 7. What is the probability that A, only one of them hit it, B, two of them miss it, C, Q only hit it, D, none of them misses it, E, one of them misses it? Now, to answer this question, we need to bring out some information from this question. Once we're able to do that, it will be easy for us to what, answer these five question because it's actually very simple so please for you to agree with me that this is simple i encourage you to watch this video to the end now what do you do as usual write a um, right solution write a solution so now let's take now now there are two hunter p and q both of them they aim at the target one of them they give us probability that p hit the target and then they gave us probability that Q misses the target. Now we are going to bring out all this information. Now P, probability that P, let's say probability of what? Uh, probability P hits now, hit the target is what? Given in the question is what? 2 over 9. Now, if probability that P hit the target is 2 over 9, what is the probability that P will miss the target? Remember in some of our videos that were uploaded, we said that if the probability of something occurring is A, the probability of that same thing not occurring is what? 1 minus probability that is going to occur. So if the probability that P hits the target is 2 over 9, it now means that the probability that P will miss the target, rather P will miss the target will be 1 minus or 2 over 9. And 1 minus 2 over 9, this is what 9. 9 divided by this is what 9, 9 times this is what 9, minus this is 1, 1 times 2 is what 2, that is what 7 over 2, 7 over 9. So the probability that P means the target will be what? 7 over 9, so we need to bring that out, okay? So probability P miss, miss the target is equal to what? 7 over 9, 7 over 9. That is it. 7 over 9. That is probability that what? That P miss the target. Now, we are done with P now. Now, let's take Q. It's important we bring out this information. Okay? But once we have this information, it will be very easy for us to do an answer any question that comes from it. Now, let's take Q now. Probability. Probability now. Probability that Q miss means the target is given to us in the question. Probably that Q means the target is what? 6 over 7. 6 over 7. That is probably that Q um, means the target. That Q means, means the target is close to what? 6 over 7. 6 over 7. Now, probability that Q hit the target now will be what? Now, remember what I just said. Now, if the probability that Q meets the target 6 over 7, what will be the probability that Q hit the target? If the probability that Q meets the target 6 over 7, what do you think will be the probability that Q hit the target? It will be what? 1 minus probability that Q meets the target. That is what 6 over 7. And when you solve this, all same of 1 and 7 is 7. 7 divided by 1 is 7. 7 times 1 is 7 minus. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times 6 is 6. That is what 1 over 7. So that is it. So the probability that Q hits the target is what? Is 1 over 7. 1 over 7. So that is it. Now with this information now, we can now successfully answer these five questions that they see from me. So now we go. A. So then as I first said, probability that only one of them hit it. Probability that only one hit the target probability that only one of them hit the target is equal to probability that P hit and 
and Q and Q miss it. Do you get that? Now, if only one of them hit the target, that means that it's either P hit it. I'm going to write this out here so that you understand this better. So probability that only one of them hit the target is equal to probability that P hit and Q miss. Or, or probability that P miss and Q hit the target. You get that now. So probability that P hit, probability that only one of them hit the target means that it's either P hit the target and Q miss. Or P miss the target and Q hit it. So only one of them hit it. We don't know. We don't know. See, it's either this or this. Okay? It's either this one hit it and this one miss it. Or this one hit it and another one miss it. That's really what we have um, we have done there. So now bringing that out now. So probability that P hit the target now. We go to P hit. If probability of P hit, what is it? 2 over 9. And miss times times Q miss. Q miss is what? Is 6 over 7. Or miss plus. Plus. P miss. P miss the target is what? 7 over 9. 7 over 9. Times. And is times. Q hit. Q hit is what? 1 over 7. Can I solve this now? Um, 3 can go here. 3 here is what? Is 2. 3 here is what? Is 3. 7 here 1. 7 here is 1. 2 times 3 is what? Is 4 over. 3 times 7 is what? 21 plus 1 over is what? 9. The LCM of 21 and 9. Yeah, you find your LCM. The LCM of 21 and 9 is what? Is 63. You can try to check that. If you don't know how to find LCM, please. Check our videos we've done. We've uploaded a lot of videos on how you can find LCM. Please try to watch them, okay? So 63 divided by 21. 63 divided by 21. That will give us what? 3. 3 times 4 is what? Is 12 plus. 63 divided by what? By 9. 63 divided by 9. That is what? 7. 7 times 1 is what? Is 7. So 12 plus 7. This will give us what? Um... 19 over what? 63. So that is the answer. So the probability that one of them will hit the target, probability that only one hit the target is what? Is 19 over 63. Now let's take the second one, now B now. Probability that two of them miss it. Probability that two of them miss it. Probability of the two miss the target. Is equal to probability that P miss and Q also miss the target too. Probably that the two of them miss the target. Probably that two of them miss it. That is probably that two of them miss the target. Means that P miss the target and also Q miss the target. So that is equal to probability that P miss now. Is what 7 over 9. Probably that Q miss is what 6 over, over 7. Now we can divide. 3 here is 2. 3 here is 3. 7 here is 1. 7 here is 1. That is equal to what? 1 times 2 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3. So the answer is what? 2 over 3. So you probably see that both of them miss the target is what 2 over 3. Not difficult, simple, right? That is it. Now let's look at the third one. Q only hit it. Probability that Q only hit it. Hmm. Probability that Q only. Probability that Q only hit it means that Q hit it and what? And P missed it. Is equal to Probability that what Q hit and P what 
and P miss it. Probably that Q only hit it, only Q hit it, is equal to probably that Q hit the target and P missed it. And P missed it. Remember, the reason why we are working, we are taking that together is because the two of them, the two hunters, they aim at the target at the same time. At the same time. So Q hit it and what? And P missed it. So how do you solve that? So what is the probability that um that P that Q hit it? Q hit is what? 1 over 7. 1 over 7 times. Um P miss it now. Is what 7 over 9. 7 over 9. So 7 year 1, 7 year 1. 1 times 1 is what? Is 1 over 1 times 9 is what? Is 9. So that is it. So probability that probability that um that only Q hit it is what? So it equals to what? 1 over 1 over 9. So that is it. So only Q hit it means that Q hit it and P missed it. Now let's take the next one now. D. Find that none of them miss misses it. That means that both of them, when they hit the target, both P hit it and Q also do what? Hit it. So that is D now. Probability that none, none of them miss is equal to probability that P hit and Q also do what? Hit the target. So that is equal to what? Find that P hit the target is what? 2 over 9 times Q also hit the target is what? 1 over 7. So 2 times 1 is what? Is 2. 9 times 7 is what? Is 63. That is the answer. So that is the answer to that probability that both P and Q hit it. That means that both of them, none of them miss the target. Means P hit the target and Q also hit the target. The answer to that is what? 2 over 63. Now the last one, one of them miss it. One of them miss it. Hmm. Now probability that one of them miss is equal to what? Probability of now this time we don't know who missed the target. It could be that it was Q that missed the target and P hit it, or P hit the target and Q missed the target. So it's probability of one of them missed the target is equal to probability that P hit and Q miss, or probability that Q hit and P missed the target. Do you get that now? So probability that one of them missed the target. Probability that one of them missed the target means that you see that P hit the target and Q missed it. Or probability that either Q hit the target and P missed it. So solving that now, probably that P hits now, we have it there. That is a 2 over 9. 2 over 9 times Q miss. Q means the target is what? 6 over 7. All means what? Addition. Plus Q hit now. Q hit is what? 1 over 7. Times P miss. P miss the target is what? 7 over 9. 7 over 9. Now solving this. Now we can reduce this. 3 here is, um, is 2. 3 here is 3, 7 here is 1, 7 here is 1. So 2 times 2 is what? 4 over 3 times 7 is what? 21. Plus 1 times 1 is 1 over 1 times 9 is what? Is 9. The LCM of um, 21 and 9 is what? Is 63. 63 divided by 21 is what? Is 3. 3 times 4 is what? Is 12. Plus 63 divided by 9 is what is 7. 7 times 1 is what is 7. That is equal to 12 plus 7 is what? 19 over 63. And that is the end to this question. Not difficult at all, isn't it? Very simple. All we need is understanding. Once you try to understand the question, know what you are supposed to bring out. Once you're able to do that, you get the answer. 
Like in this question that you see, we're able to bring out all this information because this information will help us to do what? To answer the question. So please, I encourage you to watch this video over and over again so that you get a thorough understanding of this so that whenever you see questions like this in the exam or test, you'll be able to do justice to the question, okay? Thank you so much for always visiting my channel. And if this is your first time of visiting my channel, I encourage you to please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on your notification button so that whenever I upload new content, you'll be notified of them. And don't forget the key to being good or understanding mathematics is practice. Continue to practice and in no time, you find out that mathematics is actually very simple. Don't forget to drop your comment in the comment section and tell us how we are doing and give us a like button if you appreciate what we are doing. And don't forget, share all this information on all your social media platforms. Once again, thank you so much for visiting Joshua Okwe Online Maths. Bye-bye for now.